What is going on guys, this is 42 Sports here and today I am talking about the Appalachian State Mountaineers at home versus the Savannah State Tigers in Boone, North Carolina at Kid Brewer Stadium. Uh, time will be 3.30 p.m. Eastern Time. Uh, the coverage will be on ESPN3. Man, can I say a crazy weekend of week one of college football and I'm just happy that college football is finally back here in America. I'm just back and I'm just happy that football is back. The NFL starts this week. But what I'm going to talk about today is Appalachian State and their woes from the uh, not so fun loss against Georgia. They lost 31-10 to and it wasn't pretty but they did maintain the Georgia Bulldogs to just 30 points. So that was a good positive for the Mountaineers. Also, the Mountaineers were young too, but I saw a lot of positives uh, for the offense, also for the defense. Now, the defense played exceptionally, exceptionally well, even though it was a 31 point uh, uh, 10 loss. But I mean, you just can't stop Nick Chubb and Sony Michael. But those two guys that are in the backfield, it's just it's hard. Like Nick Chubb loves to truck people. I mean, you have to have three or four guys just to tackle him. I mean, he's just that tough. Um, now, Sony Michael, I think he likes to do like the, the halfback toss or maybe like the read option type of plays. He's more of a out back, but he's still really good. Now, this is Georgia is like a lot stronger and bigger, and they also have five-star recruit guys, while Appalachian doesn't really have five-star recruits, but they still play really well against top, te uh, top 10 teams. And once again, Tennessee, of course, has to win in double overtime and LOL to Georgia State or Georgia Tech, my bad, because Georgia Tech should have won that game last night as well last year when uh, Appalachian should have won against Tennessee also. Literally, that would have been Bush Jones' like, job on the line in five. So, the positives, even though uh, it was a lopsided game at the end, but Appalachian played exceptionally well. They could not uh, go down the field sometimes. It's just because Georgia was just Georgia, and they're de they're good. Uh, but Appalachian State is going to do uh, well this year, I believe. Uh, they should beat Savannah State. Uh, Savannah State struggled last year. They went three and seven, but that doesn't mean anything for this year. It's a new team, new moto, motto, and uh, they sh uh, it's, they're going to bring a fight against the Mountaineers. Also, as you guys probably know. I am an Appalachian State Mountaineer fan, uh, also for family reasons as well. I just love Appalachian, and I've been there all the time. It's a great place to go. Also, it's a great place to go to watch football games if you're interested. Uh, Appalachian State is 0-1. Uh, Savannah State Tigers are 0-0. They haven't played yet, but they will be playing in Boone, North Carolina this weekend. So there's not much really to talk about Savannah State, but all the passing leaders is Taylor Lamb, who went 18 for 27. Uh, with 128 yards with zero touchdowns uh, rushing Taylor Lamb had the only touchdown with 66 yards and 10 carries Jalen Moore only had four receptions 34 yards but if you guys watched last weekend with Ike Lewis with that amazing one-handed catch that my friend was just awesome just to watch Ike Lewis go up uh, with the defender and catch it one hand that was uh, sports center top 10 that was awesome so there's a lot of great catches great plays and just crazy endings from week one so there's really much there there's not really much to talk about about this game because I don't really know much about Savannah State and they don't have any stats from this year and plus uh, they, this is the first game so it's kind of hard to do research when you don't know who will be the players and who um, Man, these guys can will start and all stuff like that. But I do know last year that they were three and seven, so they're a struggling team and program. But it doesn't mean this year they'll come up with a fight. And I believe Appalachian State will win this game. Uh, not only that Savannah State will come with a fight, I do believe that Appalachian State will win. Not only because they lost to Georgia, they'll come ready for revenge from from a loss. Uh, and period. 
Uh, but basically, that's all I have for you guys. Uh, it's a short video, I know. Uh, it was really shocking. It's the first time this has been a really short video about Appalachian. But I do know that Appalachian State will do well this year. Now, and they, might, they may not be like the same team as last year because they're young with the receiving core, but their defense looked uh, decently sharp against Georgia, even though they lost 31-10. to 10. Um, they, they played well, in my opinion. Um, they, got, they got the key guys back, and they got Eric Boggs, Devin Stringer, uh, Clifton uh, Doug. They got a lot of guys back in defense. We got uh, Taylor Lamb, an offensive quarterback, Jalen Moore, and Ike Lewis. Also, so that's gonna be a key uh, players for uh, uh, Appalachian State. So, guys, like I said before, hope you guys like this video. Like, comment, subscribe. Uh, tell me, what, tell me what you think about this game and how the results were with Georgia. And uh, yeah, like, comment, subscribe, guys. Thanks for watching. Go Mountaineers, and uh, see you at the Rock. <laughs> well, I can't be at the game, but you know what I mean. All right, guys, peace. Zips it to the back. He's tackled at the one yard line. That brings up second and goal. From the one yard line, it's second down.